Welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you on how to install Simu with the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So let's hop right into it. First, you will go to the first link in my description, which will be Simu Emulator, and you want to download the latest stable version. After that, you will create a new folder that you can call like Simu. Go into your download folder and just drag the Simu file into here. Once that is done, go into the Simu folder and extract that file. You can use WinWar or anything. And delete the, uh, the zip. After that, go to the second link in the description, which will be Simu hook. Click on the second one of these. And just go here, go to your download folder again. Download. Just drag and drop this file here. Extract it. You will get some files and delete the zip again. Drag these files into the Simu folder and let's get to the next. You want to go to the next link in the description, which will be USB helper installer. Just click on it here, click on the symbol. You will be brought to this menu. You want to click on next. I agree to the license. And you want to install the latest version. I always keep it at the basics because that's the recommended version. And click on install. It will take some time to install, but just wait. It could take one minute, 40 seconds. Yeah, it could take around that time. You just gotta be patient. And in the meantime, you can open the next link in the description, which will be the Seaside Index. But you don't want to do uh, you. Won't do anything on here. So we're now just waiting for this to be done. In here, you can see that there are many pages with different types of titles. We're gonna use this one because it has the most. So we're gonna use this one. But we will see once that is done. In here, we can see the Simu folder. It should look like this. Once you extract the Simu hook file so make sure it looks like this and yeah it takes some bit depending on your PC strengths for it to install like this isn't one minute obviously it could also take around two minutes it variates but it should not take that long like you're getting one percent every second or two so just be patient yeah we're already at 80 percent it doesn't take that long that's really handy because it includes all games and it's not a big file in, in fact it's 26 megabytes that's nothing but the game files are gonna be large i have already had view usb open so it's gonna tell me hey you want to uh, do you want to delete all uh, old files or we'll just click on yes and it will bring you up with this menu with command prompt and it will say made by fail check and it will inject and it will bring you up with the simu and uh, with the vo usb helper stream you can drag this to here for now and it's fetching the title keys loading everything giving the late metadata And it should open. By the way, the first time you open it, it will ask for your region. You want to click on a little bubble at the low, like this here, it's like here. Press on I agree and press on your region. After that, it's going to ask for title keys. What you want to do is you want to copy this, this exact URL, copy it and paste it into the box. After that, it will bring you to this screen. In here, you want to search for the game. So you want to type the legend. You want to exactly spell it like it's typed the legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And it will show you this game. You want to right click on it and click on download games. And it will ask you if you want to install the DLCs and update to 
I would recommend pressing on yes for both of them. After it's downloaded, you will see it's green here and you installed all DLCs and stuff. You want to right click on the game again and click on unpack Simu and you want to check all of these. And you want to pick this one because that's the only thing you can select and the DLC. And you want to click on OK. I already did that step because it takes a lot a long time depending on your PC. And after that you're basically done with the video USB app. You can close it up. You'll close the terminal if it doesn't close. And you will have it in this file. It will also ask you for where to save it. For the first time it will ask you on where to save unpacked games. Just make like Simu games. And once you press on unpacked Simu it will ask you to make an unpacked Simu folder. So just call it unpacked game Simu. And it will work. After that you will see these files once you open the unpacked game Simu folder. The DLC, the update data and the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now I'm going to show you how to do, put that into your Simu folder. So you're going to close that, open the Simu folder, and also close this one. And you want to open your Simu folder and you want to double click on Simu. It will load a bit, but it will bring you to this path. You should select a custom MLC path. For that, you want to go to your desktop, go to your Simu, just double click, and you will see MLC1 selected. And for your game path, you want to browse the desktop and go to your unpacked Simu folder. Where is it? Unpacked game Simu. You want to select that. And you want to click on download community graphic pack. That's useful for mods and better FPS and stuff like that, so I recommend installing it. You don't need to view it. Then go to next. Check mod automatically check for updates. Start games with full screen, I would also recommend this and configure input. Here you can connect your controller, so make a new profile, just name it anything like controller. Emulator controller should be the Wii U Pro controller, I would recommend. And in here you should um, do X input and your controller should be here. Either it's X input or direct input. But I think it's X input and your controller should right appear right here if you connect it to your PC. I do not have it connected right now, so you can also play it on keyboard if you have I don't have, do not have any. Yeah, you can also do it for keyboard and just make the keyboard. So calibrate and that should automatically set it up. I don't know why this is not working right now. But it should work for you. So just play around with it. You can also emulate the video gamepad. And yeah. Should press on keyboard. I don't know why it's not working right now. But just control it and see if it works. After that, go to close and you will see the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But before you are before you do anything in here. You want to go to options and you want to go to general settings. In here you want to go to the graphics tag and this is an important part. If you have an Nvidia graphic card I would also always recommend OpenGL. If you do not have an Nvidia graphic card I would I always recommend Vulkan. You really need to see if VSync is good. And yeah that's already it with the general settings. Yeah. You can also change your input settings here. And my current version of Seamhook is in not compatible. You can go to the link and install the newer version. But let me show you on how to install updates or DLC. You want to click on File, Install Game Title, Update or DLC. You want to go to the Unpacked Seamhook folder. You can do this to see. And we want to add the DLC, right? You want to double click on DLC. I will click on meta, select the meta file, click on open. It will then say installing DLC. And it will let you wait a bit. It can take a while. But just let it load. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel it right now. 
because I don't want you to wait like five hours for it to load, but yeah, it's like ten minutes. So I'll cancel it. And for the updates, you wanna also click on file and for game titles. You wanna go back to your unpacked demo folder, go to update, or go to meta and also open the meta file. And yeah, I'm gonna cancel it again because this is just a tutorial. You should not cancel it. And now you will have to, you can finally right click the game, edit graphic packs, and here you can open workarounds like graphics. You can put it on HD plus and full HD. Like I'm gonna select full HD because I have full HD. You can put anti-aliasing on shadows. High quality, you can also put on very high, you can put on enhancement, which is you can put box and stuff like that, you can enable depth of field, you can enable reflections, you can do reflection range, you can put it to extreme, but it's also eating your FPS, so if you change them, you should know that it takes sometimes here FPS plus plus, which is nice. And put it on advanced settings and you can decide your fps here you can go to normal settings you can just set this i have a 144 hertz monitor so i can select this and in the advanced section you can also put in 144 hertz and you can limit all cutscenes to 60 fps i would recommend that i don't know select limit all cutscenes to 30 fps can break the game if you set it higher and yeah that you can, the break game can break this is a static mode you can put on static mode frame array ever average you can just let it on default performance fence you can do that better um, i leave that on default and that's it you can also have camera sensibility Custom down shading, daytime. You can so you can only set on disabled, and it won't be stuck on one time. Also do that. Um, divine laser beams. Then show laser. Put in the colors, and stuff like that. Then we have draw distance. This is like how much you can see. This will really affect your FPS. So you can just say you want to see them more. So you can set it up for one bit. Press the arc high, you want to put high. Slightly higher. You can just make that. Then we have extended memory. You can have that on. It adds an extra 2 gigabytes of emulated RAM. And only enable this if mod you want to use requires this. So you should not have that on a normal. And have a glow glow and guardian color if you need that you have a menu navigation system which you can speed up the menu remove distance fog so you can remove fog remove hud elements you can control the weather if you want and you can swap the xbox controller binds it swaps the avx y buttons from the nintendo layout to the standard pc xbox layout we also have sheets here, so you can have map stamps, limits, overall draw speech, infinite amiibo, infinite arrows, infinite dark field protection, stuff like that. You can you, you can really just look into that. What I recommend to have active is raw distance if you have a good PC. FPS. Sorry for that, I had to research it again. So again, the raw distance, I would recommend that if you have a good PC. FPS plus plus. I would recommend that too. So you can set your FPS for your Hertz monitor and limit cutscene and graphics. So you can have full HD. I also recommend that and even 8K. And enhancements. I don't know about enhancements, but I do. If you want, then you can have them active. So now we go to the parts. Let's launch the game and see. It will bring you up to this menu. 
where you have a screen and it loads and you must perform a system update that's because i don't have the things installed that you need you can press escape to get it a full screen and this should show if you have if you do not have the update file yeah so it should work after you have done that and once you installed the system the update once you did that for the update or in dlc it should work and you can play the game normally so yeah that is how you install steam emulator and the legend of zelda breath of the wild and any other game using wii or usb area helper i hope you enjoyed this video with voice really thanks a lot for the support on the first video which hit over 13,000 views and many likes that helped me get forward i hope if you like that video you can also sub subscribe and like this video if you have any feedback let me know in the comments and i hope the tutorial worked for you so we will see us in the next tutorial and bye